So we could go with normal mode, or we could go with hardcore mode. Just like me, sleeping in. I do like me some agility. Why would I be interested in sword fighting? Come on, Ma. Gotta take cheese with those bread. I don't know. Saving. There's no auto save in hardcore mode. Oh god, what am I getting myself into? Fast travel's not possible. Maybe the map is small. Act. <sighs> you can't fast travel. Okay, no. Wait. Hello, father. Sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. I'm running out of charcoal. Need some money, then. Gunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Money, charcoal, crossbow. Got it. And ale. Aye, father. Run along. D duck, dodge, and dodge. Oh, and dive. What do you want? That was rude. My father sent me to get axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Wife ran off. No. You're as much use as a square wheel. No. You son of a whore. I got so many punches on him. Oh, there we go. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much. He's missing. Uh, he, um. You understand? Uh. You're missing a little bit of flesh. Did I do that to you? Wait, do I get to go in his house now? Let's see what he has. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing so far. Maybe we can take his pet if he has one. Take his food, of course. I mean, we're hungry. If we're gonna die if we. Oh, wait. <laughs> we'll be a little bit clumsy. <laughs> uh, nice. We got everything. Is that it, though? No. Uh, okay, I guess that's gonna be it. Cook item. We cook an apple. Um, what does that do? Let me go to my inventory. Oops. Oh, cooked apple. What is that? 97. It costs more. <laughs> okay, cool. Is that, I think that's literally it. it. Maybe it's like some ingredient you need for something, I guess. Have a good rest of your day, boy. You got the better of me. Take what you want. Can I take his hammer here? God be with you, whoever said that. He's not a serious one. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to do. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege. Mm, good point. Good Why point. Not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitor. Now even the Pope. God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsche Spalling ship. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Ooh. It's true, though. Winslow is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. 
To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Fuck him. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. <laughs> Doesn't he, Fritz? Bye -bye. Do I, Matthew? You Didn't mean his mic. Hiding? Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. Manure. You know, the one right next to this freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for it? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it to be honest. But doing some tears one day. Jesus. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. Yeah, our so, king. How? Are you with us? If I say no, I mean, I mean, I'm against the king. So, I mean, I have no choice. Oh, well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. All right. Henry, I'm glad you came. Yes, yes, me too, me too. I think the poo's right there. We just chuck it right now. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess um, this one may not be the clever one. <laughs> what do you want, lad? I, I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. I'd advise that. Alright boys, let's have at it. Wait, do I not get to throw any? What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! Woohoo! Eat shit, dodgers! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in the tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunt! I'll take those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this proxy Deutscher? 
Maybe you'd like to try out the latest what the German fuck is fashion. He saying? Oh, jeez! <laughs> what a shot! Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that. All right. Who do I got? I got this guy. Oh shit! Oh yeah, just just constant jabs, and he's done. Uh, yeah, yes, this is who I'm hitting. Yeah. Oh shit. I guess we gotta go. Run, you coward. How are you, Henry? <laughs> Isn't that kind of suspicious? You saw like four dudes running. Thank you, thank you. You too. Um. Huh? Is he gonna? Yep. Can I do it? No. Okay. You have a nice day. I guess he fell on his head like I did. Collect the debt from Kunish. I did collect the debt from Kunish. B. Matthias, where did everyone else go? Oh, here we are. Hello, everyone. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Dutch. It's lucky. Yeah, it's lucky we were warned. Your hanker warned us. Well behaved girl like that. I'm surprised she didn't call the catch pole. She must have seen Matthias. What do you mean? Because he fancies her. And I uh. think maybe <laughs> she likes the look of him too. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. <laughs> Oops. Didn't mean to skip it. Oh well. Guess that's the end of that. Okay, do I trade the stuff to Good health to you. How much coal do I even need? I don't even remember. Uh, quests? Where's quests? Ten coal. And they're how much each? They are five each. So that would be, I need five coin. That helps. Do I need the red scarf? <laughs> oh, it's all the cheese. Cheese is expensive. Maybe the bread roll? And the cooked apple. Check the basket. Hag Let's haggle. Let's talk about the price. Why not? Uh, I really wish both ways. Okay, got it. Too much reading. Uh, so the original price, I guess, was give me six point two, and give me six point one. I'm cool with that. Satisfied? We're getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. All right, that would do it. Cool. I like that. And then. Oh, I could I could have probably put this in the basket too. Huh. Let's just go ahead and buy it. Close to deal.
Oh wait. We forgot about the ale. Ooh, Bianca. God save my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? A pitcher. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. What a sweetheart. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Ooh. Oh, no Here you go. On this evening, I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> will. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Manny. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing on his wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. How? I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, savior your snacks. Hell yeah. You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Nice. Thank you for the shave your snaps. Is it sure to give me the yeah, I guess sure to give me the ale. Coolio. Who are you guys? Can I just like walk in? Get to talk you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Um, I came for Father the cross guard. We're forging a sword. We know, snitch. And the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassam. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. <laughs> Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by the So do he just have the sword in his ass? See you later in the tavern. He certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. All right. Castle's so close. Hello, father. Everything is done. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sassau did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. Oh, okay. I thought they handed a whole sword. I know. Just the hilt. Doesn't look like check to me. Or Latin, Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. I think it's like the... Have you got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the know. forge. <laughs> put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? 
Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. Oh, no. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you never win an argument. True. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. But, but I did. I thought if I didn't use my fist, we wouldn't have got this hammer and these nails to get these freaking charcoal for this. Furnace is ready. Uh, right, this guy does not understand. Rip. We just Sorry, don't have the do. social status that he does. Oh, I mean, he earned it, so. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? You remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague, a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better mm -hmm. than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose life is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? You think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. Right. I don't think I finished it, to be honest. Father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Um, <laughs> I think I already raided the trunk. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. That will do. So Go how's and get Bianca? those damn nails. Um, she's fine. <laughs> I think she's nails. Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> He's yelling at me even though I got hurt the nails. 
fine lass, eh? Is he checking her out too? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. Oh, okay, no, he's it's not. Time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsman. Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Damn. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a common? Let commoner? him try it. Hell yeah, let him try it. <laughs> You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sven? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. That's what we just said. This talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor today, Sam. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here. Beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. You said do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world. Meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. Then you've no need to learn swordplay. Yeah, he knows I got good fists. The messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Here they come. Arm is huge. Listen to me now. Listen carefully. Take the sword. Go into the house and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? I already got everything from the trunk. Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her, follow right behind. 
I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Redzo. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. Oh shit, everyone's already fucked. Oh damn. Yep. I guess that's probably good with the sword, but he died to an arrow. Wasn't quite a crossbow. This could like, like five dudes. Well, this dude is my dad. Holy shit. Wait, what? They couldn't just wait three seconds? He literally... Off I go with his sword. <laughs> 